Hi, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Myself Gaurav Chadani, your host for this session. So, first of all, thank you everyone for taking the time out and joining us today. I hope all of you are fine and keeping well. To keep this session real smooth, I request everyone to please be on mute, and we will have a dedicated Q and A session at the end. Uh, meanwhile, the chat box will remain open as the session goes. You are uh, please feel free to drop out any questions you have or your queries you have, and we'll address on a dedicated Q and A session at the end. Uh, with me on the panel, I have Sudarshil Bhattacharya, our technology evangelist and the organization, of course, my personal go-to guy for everything data and analytics. Uh, hi, Sudarshil, welcome to the panel. Hey, hi, Gaurav. <clears throat> Thank you so much for inviting me. And uh, I hope you, your family, loved ones are doing well. And I also hope, uh, you know, all the participants uh, joining this call, you know, they are also keeping themselves safe uh, in this pandemic scenario. Sure. Uh, so Sudarshil, before we start, uh, just have a thought in my mind from my discussion with our clients, uh, especially in the past few turbulent months with the regulatory guidelines changing every week, uh, new rules popping up every now and then. So what I've seen in the businesses are finding it very difficult uh, to basically predict the demand and tweak their supply chains in response. Plus in today's modern times, uh, businesses and even human beings for that matter, uh, they no longer have the required patience and they seek real-time information access to their goods. Uh, so how can businesses leverage the data they have in real time and be more agile in responding to the customer? Um, Bob, that's an excellent question, actually. First of all, thank you for you know asking that. And it's very much true, right, uh, that in today's uh, age and time, especially as to you know, what has happened, uh, you know, typically after the COVID scenario, uh, and much before COVID as well, there was a constant need of uh, you know, overhauling uh, how our supply chains are, how we you know, uh, you know, act on with them, the agility, resilience, and things like that. But that has become far more you know accelerated after this COVID drive. Uh, customers these days, you know, that I speak with, you know, they all have you know problems around uh, you know managing how their supply chains would look like in real time. Obviously, you know, most of uh, industries cross verticals, you know, people have systems in place, people have software packages and processes in place, right? To keep track of their inventory, warehousing, logistics, but they don't have a, you know, unified solution that does all of this together in one single, you know, platform, right? Um, and uh, that is how, that is what, you know, the agenda of to, uh, today's uh, discussion is as to how we at TIPCO, uh, uh, you know, can help uh, organization achieve that right how we can make the uh, you know organizations supply chain more resilient more responsive and agile in real time through our white box uh, you know based uh, analytics data science and you know unified uh, data integration solution uh, that's interesting so so i think i would love to learn more and i think viewers are also waiting so i won't take much of your time and i think we shall start with the presentation Yes, uh, thanks for that, Gaurav. And to all the participants, uh, you know, I just again request, uh, you know, if you have any questions, please, uh, please feel free to drop them in your in the chat box, and we'll definitely take them, uh, you know, uh, as we go along. So with that, let me quickly share my screen. I hope everything is visible. Yeah. So. Right. Uh, so supply chain, right? Uh, as, as, I, as I just spoke, basically, uh, you know, in today's date in in, uh, in across industries, you know, uh, you see um, um, you know, efforts for supply chain everywhere, right? Uh, and, uh, you know, you have systems, you have uh, you know, business processes, you have people, you have, you know, uh, packages for uh, warehouse management, logistics management but you don't have all of all of these uh, things are places in you know in at one place so what that usually happens and this usually happens to all the customers that i speak with regardless of the verticals or industries you know they belong to is they don't have a real time visibility of you know what, what where their consignment is or where their packages are or what is happening with their supply chain right as a result you know with uh, with situations like covid unfolding if, you know companies and organizations find it very difficult to respond in time to continuously new rules new regulations maybe a primary supplier going down because of certain scenarios or you know other things and uh, this is what we do at tipco right as i just uh, said in the beginning 
uh, our solution is a you know, real-time uh, complex event processing solution that comes augmented with built-in white box based uh, uh, you know, machine learning platform and, uh, you know, business discovery logic platform that and combined all of this thing together in one single package, right? Um, so what this does, it, it revolutionizes your supply chain in a way uh, that, you know, we are, you are able to see, connect, respond and interact in, uh, you know, real time, right? Uh, uh, and see what, what your supply chains are going through, see where your, you know, your primary, if there is a requirement of change of a primary supplier region, right? And uh, things like that. So, so you know, just, just moving on, right? So in real time, right, you know, you can see these days, if we, if we go and order an Uber or an Ola, right? Or, or some cab service or some food delivery service. In real time, you can see that, you know, how your trucks are moving, how your, how your cab is moving, right? Uh, you can see when it is going to arrive to you. If there is any delay, you can communicate with the uh, you know uh, driver and things like that. But you cannot do the same thing for supply chain and logistics, which are much more complicated and which are much more uh, you know important. Um, so this platform uh, that we are talking about is essentially helps to solve this exact same piece. It gives you a unified operations view of you know everything happening within your logistics and supply chain network in real time. It enables you to take decisions based on AI ML in real time, not after when the events have happened, right? It helps you predict, you know, which uh, you know which which primary regions or supply chain regions will be affected. It helps you enable to do things like demand forecasting, right? It helps you see track your vehicles, track your consignment packages, uh, you know, see any other you know important KPIs parameters all in a real time streaming dashboard. And obviously, it basically integrates with all the you know underlying data uh, databases, applications, and other systems that you have in your ecosystem, and all of that packaged into one single white box solution uh, for you. And in this way, you know, we basically enable uh, the digitalization drives of you know, supply uh, supply chains across industries. So uh, let me just give you an example, right, as to what things have changed, uh, you know, as uh, pandemics like COVID have progressed, right? So uh, take, for example, U.S. Air Force, right? When COVID hit the uh, United States, in one single night, right, the U.S. Air Force was able to mobilize around seven, uh, laptops and other, you know, work equipments for around 700,000 staff of theirs, right? Now, this is a big feat, you know, uh, considering, you know, the logistics uh, challenges, the supply chain challenges, you have to, you have to arrange for the, the products, the supplies from different regions, you have to again redispatch them to different different locations all across the country, and all of this has to be done in record, you know, minimum possible amount of time. So, in order for you to do this, right, uh, it, you have to have a system in place which can not only see what you know, what are your you know demand forecasts, your your demand patterns, and where are, where are your shipments coming in from, but you also have to manage them, including the deliveries, including any delays and you know, identify any bottlenecks before they actually happen. So in scenarios like this, the typical solution basically you know, comes in very handy. As I said, uh, you know, the different pieces and different components of the solution, they basically enable you to take on and act on different aspects of the supply chain problem. So for example, there are different, uh, there are different modules to take care of a demand forecasting issue. There's, there is pre-built modules and uh, you know, applications built into the, uh, into the platform to, to you know, uh, track your vehicles, track your you know, uh, uh, shipments in real time, interact with them. Um, if there is any change in your plan, if there is any change uh, you know, uh, in, in the routing, communicate that, anticipate any changes you know, happening due to either regulations or either you know, new rules or laws popping, uh, you know, coming in, or maybe due to other disruptions like you know, weather challenges and things like that, and act on, act on those things accordingly. Right? So this system actually, you know, basically enables you to do all of that and much more with one single, you know, comprehensive platform. Uh, so at, at the uh, at the at the bottom of the slide, you would see three, uh, uh, you know, I would say uh, circles, semicircle, uh, semicircle saying connect, unify, and predict. So that that is our entire portfolio all combined into this uh, into this package. Uh, so Tipco's basically platform uh, offers three different pieces. We call them connect, unify, and predict. And this entire logistics and supply chain solution is a pre-packaged template ready for you that leverages all these three different buckets together. 
So connect is, you know, anything that requires, uh, you know, data integration or, you know, integration with your different databases um, that might be across your systems or, or across your ecosystem, right? We have, you know, built-in prepackaged connectors, uh, built-in prepackaged applications to do that. Uh, and that is the that is the power of uh, and that is the first step actually for any any kind of intelligent supply chain and you know uh, responsive operations dashboard that we provide that's the first and basic step you should have all the data you know maybe structured unstructured streaming historical all coming to you at one place through one layer manageable governed and everything and that we do out of box second piece uh, of the second box that you see which says unify is basically you know all the applications tooling and uh, you know the models that we provide out of box for managing and governing this data as i just said the third piece right which is the predict piece is the core of this entire solution which basically enables the visualization of you know your 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 vehicles fleet vehicles uh, in real time which it also enables you to uh, you know take ai and ml powered decisions combine these decisions of yours with you know your existing business rules or existing company rules and take intelligent proactive decisions even before you know um, uh, an issue an, an issue or or, or or an incident has happened to it right and in the next slide i'll just quickly discuss as to how this solution basically you know uh, gets implemented or how the solution basically comes in very handy for different different sectors now if you are some someone you know who is into manufacturing and coming in from a manufacturing background this is something you will you know immediately you know identify with the biggest challenge in manufacturing is the entire global you know the entire supply chain of manufacturing you know be it whichever uh, you know be it uh, you know what kind of whatever kind of manufacturing you know you are in has become globalized right no longer, you know, we depend on local suppliers or only one one particular kind of supplier, you know, located in only one small region. Um, we have di diversified manufacturing operations have diversified. What this also make, essentially means in context of uh, supply chain is your supply chain has become more complex. It's now, you know, spread across geographies, spread across regions. There are different, you know, providers for you know different things. And you need to manage all of these things, keeping in mind the changing, you know, government scenarios, the changing environmental scenarios. Maybe you know you, you also have to take in uh, considerations of changing the changing COVID scenarios as they as and when they happen, right? So it is very uh, pertinent that you know uh, that you you are able to design, manage, and monitor a very optimized, resilient, and agile supply chain that is uh, you know that, uh, that is optimized for service cost and resilience the platform that we provide enables to do exactly all of these things right and uh, as uh, and as as i just said right it has got uh, all the pre built tooling uh, applications visualizations ml algorithms uh, built in to achieve you all that so uh, coming to you know other sectors uh, you know let's speak about uh, logistics for a minute so if you see traditionally logistics you know has been focused in last mile deliveries you know um, um, uh, transporting or you know taking goods from warehouse to terminals to you know end customers and things like that but as and when you know the uh, uh, the operations for logistics are becoming more complex logistics has become you know something from has transitioned itself right from a back end operation to a more customer facing operation no longer, you know, you would you you just expect, uh, you know, your your consignment just to be delivered, right? You also want to track them in real time as to where your consignment is. If you are a, you know, um, if you're a retail customer, even if you are a B two B customer, and you would you would still land, you still need visibility on, you know, the uh, when a, when your custom, when your consignment is going to arrive. If there is any delay in your consignment, you would immediately need to reroute those uh, or factor in for those delays. If you have to, you know, let's say prepone, postpone uh, your consignments or packages for whatever reasons, you know, that should be doable, and it should be all be doable from a, you know, uh, very interactive manner. Today's supply, today's logistics chain, right? They do have obviously the uh, uh, applications and packages for, you know, let's say inventory management, warehouse space management, but not much when it comes to interaction, the last mile interaction between the logistics and the end customer. And this becomes especially relevant if your end customer is a retail customer. If you're if you're someone who is delivering a consignment to an end retail customer, that is that becomes very very you know uh, important for you. That this becomes a two way very real time piece for you, right? Because um, the visibility is is what is required. 
and the solution that we provide will exactly you know help you map achieve exactly that so it will help you manage it will help you you know see it will enable you to take uh, intelligent decisions and more and most of it it will provide all of these functions to the end customer itself right so for example the end customer today using this solution they can automatically re you know uh, reassign a consignment for a particular date if uh, you know if if that particular date or time doesn't doesn't work for you and this when the consignment is already in transit not when the consignment is at a particular hub or a particular uh, you know uh, location to be done so all of this can be managed in real time and you can also see you as in the you, uh, you sitting from in from the company's perspective from the organization's perspective you can also see all of this happening through a through a you know operations control center in a in a real time dashboard as to all of this happening how you know your your packages are being handled how delays are being handled what kind of customer complaints are coming in how you know are you are you are able to respond to those how you are able to plan for any disruptions if a primary supply a supplier region has failed right how you are able to simulate and uh, look for secondary supply regions you are able to make assumptions as to you know correct assumptions as to if these the secondary supply region that you are going to connect to will be able to meet your requirements or not and things like that now if you're in retail you know nothing comes more important to you if uh, uh, you know from supply chain agility and resilience point of view if uh, you know uh, you're, you're uh, you are managing a retail operation right starting from things like demand forecasting allocation of resources this includes manpower vehicle uh, scheduling routing last mile delivery and uh, obviously the interactivity the real time interactivity uh, with the customer is something that is now you know globally asked for and companies uh, leading companies in retail and logistics have you know made a shift towards it and uh, tipco platform for supply chain retail and logistics enable you enables you to do exactly just that uh, you know whether be it demand forecasting whether be it optimizing your uh, or your inventories uh, whether be it you know uh, making your schedules for uh, you know deliveries and tracking all of them in real time through a uh, you know operations dashboard and from a central location uh, you know all of this is basically what we provide out of box and what is uh, what is being used in the next next few slides i'll also discuss some of the uh, some of the customers who are who are using these solutions one or two of them uh, and uh, I'll, I'll discuss them in detail as to you know what transformations uh, you know what is the result of the transformation drive that we have brought upon uh, uh, <clears throat> when when these customers you know they have been able to uh, they have started using to use this kind of a solution but before that let me you know quickly walk you through a, a, a demo video which just explains what i just uh, just said but in a in a more interactive manner and uh, so that you know we are all abreast with uh, the real time piece in supply chain logistics and what it can do for you and your organization have you ever wondered why your ride sharing applications can show you where your car is how it will get to you and when it will arrive in real time. But you can't view your enterprise supply chain the same way. Part of the answer is that while modern supply chains are more complicated than ever, the systems designed to manage them were built before IoT, before automation, and before real-time analytics were available to transform them. Now, four innovations in data, analytics, AI, and real-time help transform your supply chain so it works more like your body's nervous system where billions of events like nerve cells in your body carry real-time information on a kind of supply chain nervous system. The first is what we call Streaming BI. At first glance, this dashboard might look like a typical promotion, planning, and route optimization supply chain view, but it's not. It's powered by connections to real-time data that make it spring to life as conditions change. As trucks roll, AI predictions are continuously re-optimized, as the weather changes, analysts can evaluate the impact and act to optimize load, routing, and even better communicate with customers. It's a live, intelligent view of supply chain operations. But here's the big innovation. This supply chain nervous system can now be created in seconds by anyone. TIBCO has democratized real-time analytics, so you can deliver more insights faster. You simply connect any real-time data to a streaming engine. It just takes minutes. Then, any supply chain analyst or business user can select the fields they want to explore and go. Everything's self-service and live. 
One of Tipco's customers, Bayer, put the algorithm behind the button for 14,000 of their staff to perform precision agriculture with data from their global operations, drones, and internal systems. For example, in the insurance industry, analysts can track storms and the impact on logistics and supply chains operation as a storm approaches. They can anticipate where to deploy adjusters, understand the implications on supplies, and even help ensure public safety. Now, some developers try to use a traditional database to do this. The problem is, that's like trying to drive your car by only looking in the rearview mirror. We call this the too late architecture. Who cares if you discover you could have adjusted logistics yesterday to work around a sudden change in the weather? It's too late. Streaming BI flips the model on its head so you can sense what's happening live, compare it to history, and respond in that critical moment. That's the supply chain nervous system at work. The foundation of all supply chains is data. Two other innovations make this nervous system work. The first is data virtualization. As the name implies, it virtualizes access to ERP and supply chain system of record data. So instead of duplicating it with ETL or a data link, you leave it alone and access it with a single virtual store. Now, for the first time, Tibco makes streaming data a first-class citizen in data virtualization. You just connect it and go. And now you can connect 90 other real-time sources that impact the supply chain like weather, IoT sensor data, or drones. The second innovation is about metadata. Metadata describes and governs all your critical assets that define your supply chain, breakthroughs in making it simpler to create and maintain this DNA. The race to become digital is just beginning. New tools democratize access to a real-time view of the supply chain so anyone can see what's going on. Put the algorithm behind the button with streaming analytics, the brain of the nervous system. Provide fast access to memory with data virtualization. Easily map your enterprise DNA with metadata and share streaming BI, the eyes and ears of the modern supply chain nervous system that we think represents the future of connected intelligent computing. So, you know, in the last uh, video, we just saw right uh, what I was just speaking about and how real-time supply chain intelligence platform can uh, basically, you know, transform and make your supply chains more agile, more resilient, and more responsive to any kind of changes uh, that are anticipated, be it regulatory changes, be it, you know, uh, changes due to weather, be it changes due to a uh, situation like COVID, uh, you know, we can take care of, uh, you know, all of that. Um, uh, that that would include things like, you know, demand forecasting, recalculating your, your forecast based on changing scenarios, and then optimally assigning crews, schedules, vehicles to take care of uh, the evolving scenario. This deck, this particular deck that you see right here, right, are some of only, you know, a selected handset of subset of customers, right? Uh, from Tipco's uh, who, who are actually using and who have actually deployed this connected intelligence platform for real-time analytics uh, supply chain, right? So these are just an indicative list of customers, right? I'm just going to speak about, uh, you know, one or two use cases. So for example, I'm just going to speak about Rome Airport, right? And this is an interesting use case. Uh, reason being, uh, Rome Airport, uh, when it approached Tipco, it was uh, lacking in terms of uh, customer awareness. When I say customer awareness, uh, there were you know issues uh, in uh, in anticipating uh, you know when the cargo is going to arrive from a particular station or from a particular you know location, how to reconnect that cargo to further on on you know onward stations. And because of that, there were a lot of missed opportunities. There were a lot of delays and obviously, uh, you know, monetary consequences of paying fines, things like that. Uh, this was one piece of it. The other piece was also on the passenger experience, right? Uh, the passenger experience was also pretty poor when, uh, you know, Rome Airport approached it. But Tipco's connected inter uh, supply chain intelligence platforms implementation that was done in record time. And uh, this is possible because most of the pieces that we just spoke about or that you just saw are completely out of box. So it takes you know very little time to go ahead and deploy. And they're readily deployable, scalable uh, you know uh, accelerators. And I'll speak of them in a moment uh, in the later deck as well as to what they are. But coming back to the Rome Airport uh, in the story, right? Uh, so once they went ahead with Tipco and implemented this connected supply chain accelerator. 
in real time, they could see, right, the arrivals from uh, different locations into the Rome airport. What if there is a delay, anticipating for the delay, allocating things like gates, allocating things like, car, you know, cargo vehicles, crew and everything in real time, right? And uh, with that, they were able to turn around their, you know, not only their operations, but also their customer rating, right? Uh, so now Rome Airport ranks one of the best airports in Europe, not only for the passenger, uh, you know, experience, which is again a different story that was also done with, uh, you know, TIPCO's uh, uh, help, but uh, also in terms of connectivity hub for, uh, you know, getting into Eastern Europe uh, in terms of uh, you know, supply chain and connected in intelligence. So that's one use case. Similar, you know, uh, similar things we have done with, uh, uh, you know, customers like Singapore Port Authority, where in real time, you know, we are able to track which which uh, container is, you know, is with, on which crane in, inside the port, right? And, uh, you know, when it when it needs to be moved to where, right? So if, uh, so Singapore, Singapore Port is one of the most busiest ports in the world. Uh, you know, in terms of uh, and one of the nervous systems for supply chains, right? So if any, so any delays that cause uh, that happen because of let's say mis misidentifying and mis and wrong moving of a container uh, container, you know that that creates a blockage that creates a roadblock and obviously unnecessary delays. With this platform, they're able to you know monitor all of these operations in real time. They're able to control the movements. They're able to see correctly tag the containers, right? They're able to cross move the containers from one ship to another, right? As and when, uh, uh, you know, uh, scenario, uh, these things happen. And uh, that, uh, they have been able to successfully turn around their operations in terms of supply chain and uh, logistics for uh, for shipping uh, in, the, in the region, actually. Other customers, uh, you know, are, you know, you have, we have Norfolk Southern, Post, New Zealand, uh, Post Netherlands, you know, USDA and others, and there are many more. This is just an indicative uh, list of customers who we work with and who we have helped, uh, you know, redesigning and, uh, you know, making their supply chains much better resilient and agile than before. Um, so now, you know, till now I just spoke about some of the business implications, uh, you know, some of the use cases uh, and how, you know, we are able to transform, uh, you know, a digital supply chain, right, and making it, make it more resilient, make it more responsive, make it more agile. Here on, I'll just speak on the technology part a little bit more, right? So I spoke about there are different bits of technology which do different bits of things, including streaming, including connectivity, including AIML and other, other pieces, right? So going forward, I'll just quickly take some time to cover on that. And, uh, uh, you know, let me just quickly go ahead. So overall, you know, in, in, in entire uh, supply chain ecosystems, uh, in a supply chain life cycle, the, from a techni technology point of view, these are four very important steps. So, you know, uh, if, you, if, you, if, you map, if you go through this cycle, step one is the data, right? No supply chain, you know, be it real time, be it historical or, you know, uh, uh, anything else, it, it could be completed without availability of data. Now, data is plenty and data is available, you know, in most organizations supply chain. That is, you know, uh, that, that stage we have already achieved. What is now uh, required is that this data lies in silos. What do I mean by that, basically? Now, different systems, right, across the ecosystems uh, for in, in these organizations, uh, these organizations, actually, they store different kinds of data. You would have probably transactions data with something someone else, the master, uh, master file or master data for customers with someone else. Some other system might be tracking the vehicles. Some other system might be, you know, doing the scheduling. Some other system might be doing the demand forecasting and things like that, which leads to data silos. The first piece of uh, the connected intelligence platform for supply chain uh, that TIPCO provides is a list of, uh, or is a bunch of certified connectors, right? That are available out of box uh, and which can seamlessly connect to all your all of these data sources. Now, be these data sources on cloud, be them uh, let them be on RDBMSs or big data sources or whatever other kind or any other application data. Right, we can seamlessly connect and uh, you know take out data from it, and using the bunch of connectors that we provide out of box. Now, once you have the data, the second and it it uh, it comes to insights, right? So you have the data now, and uh, the insight generation is is what is uh, delivered from Tipco's visualization and analytics platform. Uh, the visualization and analytics platform basically you know uh, comprises of two pieces. One is Tipco Spotfire, which is our front 
uh, front end flagship visualization tools the dashboards that you just saw in the video and and other things were uh, you know, were powered by spotify and that's a real time analytics piece so what is so what differentiates spotify from you know other enterprise application tools available in the market is its real time capability to stream and also to connect to historical data sources in same time within the same dashboard within the same visualization element right and uh, when i say stream uh, it can connect to you know really high throughput streaming data right it could be thousands and thousands of uh, you know uh, ticks or tuples per second and the platform is robust enough is scalable enough to you know handle and take care and visualize on that kind of data um, so now that's one piece the second piece is uh, the machine learning piece right so that is being that is offered by another module which comes uh, the machine learning module which comes again packaged uh, with this uh, you know um, platform and this machine learning module basically offers you out of box pre built algorithms right to design uh, models for your supply chain analytics right so now these models could be your prediction models your demand forecasting models your what if models your scenario based models you know we we, we cover all that now not only that right we, we we also we are also aware that many organizations right many organizations who have already gone the data data science and uh, analytics uh, way and then they've taken the first steps they are using open source uh, algorithms or open source platforms like python or r to do such kind of things now the limitation with such kind of initiative is it is very difficult to scale it up to real time and uh, scale it up to an uh, you know enterprise level and what happens you know in absence of these things is this becomes a forte analytics and everything becomes a forte of a particular team and uh, if that is the condition you are not able to do the other steps that you see in the deck which are steps 3 and 4 you cannot take any automation or action in real time because every time you will go back and you will give a bunch of data to the team and they'll come back to you with the insights but then you will not be able to put the insights into any action or take any make any business sense out of it because the opportunity to act on it has already passed with this kind of a platform that we provide right uh, uh, it it enables you to do not only the you know traditional ai ml piece and not only we allow the business users the data scientists who are already you know working with uh, let's say open source tools to integrate their open source framework with ours uh, with our tool or platform seamlessly but we also allow them to take actions see it in real time and uh, you know uh, have our operations control center and that is step number 3 right so that's the action step where you know not only you see insights not only you are able to apply business rules of ai ml but you can also automate when i say automate and take action so things like you know if there is a if there is an uh, a delay of a particular vehicle in a, uh, in a pre delay prediction of a particular vehicle right because maybe of weather situations become because may maybe of you know changing traffic conditions or maybe you know of changing regulations uh find an alternative vehicle from that same hub to the same uh, you know uh, destination which can you know uh, fulfill the requirement right so things like that and all of these actions could be automated and the last step which is the fourth is the learning right so any kind of ai ml uh, algorithm or, you know process driven uh, initiative has to be based on learning when we do certain things you know we expect we we see certain outcomes of our ai ml uh, you know modeling right and based on the outcomes that we receive the system is very intelligent enough to automatically understand what has happened vis-a-vis -vis what was supposed to happen so for example right if i want the delay to be you know a delay to match a particular sla let's say my sla is 40 minutes or 30 minutes for a particular you know delivery or a particular trip now even after the algorithms you know have been deployed and and uh, you know the actions have been taken there is let's say an increase in uh, there is still an increase in delay the system is automatically to uh, you know able to understand that uh, the sla uh, uh, you know uh, this is uh, this is an sla breach and automatically it will try to optimize try to see what has happened and you know refine or retune the model so that you know all the new factors or the new uh, uh, you know reasons for the delay are taken into account and uh, this does not happen anymore so all steps right one two three four we provide out of box in a single white box platform uh, all pre-built for you. Um, so coming to the pieces, I think I just discussed the pieces, uh, you know, uh, one, uh, you know, earlier. But I'll just quickly again touch upon that. 
Uh, so we have three pieces in the entire solution of our supply chain. We have visual analytics. I just spoke that's the visual platform, which will allow you to do dash real-time dashboarding, BI self-service reporting, and uh, create uh, you know uh, create insights. The second piece is data science, which will allow you to do things like model building, you know, out of box, deploying, uh, manage, governance, everything, right? The third piece is the real time, which gives you the real time ability to, to see into the dashboards and to look into it. And uh, the last piece, which is the green uh, uh, you know, rectangular box, is the unified data, which, which we provide as, uh, which, you know, we say that we are providing a bunch of connectors to connect across and make this uh, across your systems and, uh, you know, break your silos and create a harmonized, unified data source. So all of this comes pre-packaged in the same application. Um, so quickly, uh, uh, you know, quickly touching upon, you know, other things, right? So what, you know, from, from, a, from a visualization point of view or from a dashboarding point of view, because at the end, the solution, you know, uh, gives you a real-time dashboard and, uh, you know, a real-time operation center. So what are the key things that it provides? I spoke of one thing, which is the third piece, real time, right? We, we can do track these things in real time. The other two pieces are, you know, it's very smart, right? We, we, we provide interactive AI. So when I say interactive AI, we divide, we give AI driven guidance on, you know, what kind of trends to look, what kind of patterns to look, or what kind of visualizations to create. You can also, you know, do simple natural language search like things like, uh, you know, you can simply ask English, uh, you know, questions in plain English, like, you know, show me vehicles which are more, uh, which are most delayed in this particular sector. It will understand and it will give you the recommendations. Apart from it, it's very immersive as well. So things like uh, built-in charts, graphs, maps, which are very, you know, geospatial capabilities are all, you know, built into the tool. So, you know, earlier I spoke about, uh, you know, that uh, we, we, we provide connectivity uh, you know, through all of these platforms. Now, now, this is a use case where, you know, we provide something called, you know, uh, uh, we provide a template, which is, an, which is, which is a plat which is a, you know, a platform that's built out of all of these pieces. And we call them the continuous logistics accelerator or the continuous vehicle accelerator. So this kind of things, this kind of an accelerator or this kind of a template is pre-built basically. What it means is you do not need to take these different pieces from us and then you know rejoin them and act on them and create these uh, create these you know workflows models and things like that, but they are automatically created for you. So for things like tracking a trip and creating let's say geofences, capturing real time feeds from your logistic fleets, right? Alerting you know uh, sending you know applying ML models, all of this come out of box and you do not need to you know spend any time on building these and then you know deploying this so that's how the deployment with this kind of a solution is also very fast um so next couple of pieces are just you know how we do certain you know subsets within uh, you know within the entire uh, platform so we'll start with the first piece which is the continuous insight piece right so as i said right so uh, what you see in the, on the screen uh, is the continuous uh, intelligence in, or the inside piece. And it can connect to, we again provide a bunch of connectors to connect to every kind of data, right? Be it logistics events, be it, uh, you, know, uh, you know, events or tags coming in from vehicles through GPS or through, you know, containers uh, or, or whatnot, right? Uh, and we can connect, uh, you know, and take data in real time from these pieces. Once inside, we can automatically do slicing, dicing, apply any kind of ML rules, business rules, logic, and send the output as uh, either visualizations, right, uh, live visualizations, or we can take an action on it, like I just explained before. We can alert, you know, people or teams. Let's say, you know, you, you want a, you know, a sector manager to be uh, to be alerted based on, let's say, a delay or an impending uh, delay because of, uh, let's say, uh, a situation has changed. Maybe, you know, uh, there has been a change in uh, in the weather pattern. There has been a change in the regulation, and now there is, uh, you know, uh, for any of those things. Right, so it could be uh, they could be automatically made aware of it, right? And or we can also expose this to any other downstream systems as you like. So that's you know one piece, the streaming piece. The other pieces and the key piece is the in the machine learning piece, right? So uh, you know which again in the machine learning piece we provide a complete GUI driven drag and drop environment, right? As opposed to a uh, open source kind of an environment, right? Uh, which uh, you you will have to uh, probably write down the codes and everything yourself. This environment comes pre-built with models. You just need to drag, drop, configure, and uh, you know you're good to go. So this you know captures things like you know your continuous learning, 
you know, you're uh, creating models based on a uh, models based outcome and then send and applying this model onto real time data that that you're getting in from, let's say, you know, your fleets, vehicles, sensors, uh, and then taking action on it and uh, creating insights out of it. All of this, is, you know, this capable, uh, this platform is basically capable of doing it out of box. Other pieces are model ops. So model ops, you know, since we are talking about AI and ML, a uh, very uh, a very important piece is uh, model ops, right? So uh, while you know we'll we'll go ahead and create as many models or as many AI ML models to fine tune our supply chain operations, make them agile and and whatnot. But uh, it is also equally important that we keep we do model operations, right? We need to have a proper framework, a proper pipeline to you know understand, validate, uh, you know keep track of mod models, version management, performance management of the models, redeploy, and things like that. To take care of all of these things, we also provide model ops that as a part of uh, this, uh, you know, platform itself. And all of these th things that I just said, including version management, performance management, tracking, pricing, everything, you know, can be done out of box, uh, you know, within with the use of this platform. Um, last but not the least is uh, something called data virtualization. This you must have you also have heard in the video, but let me just quickly iterate it in a, uh, you know, uh, over here as well. And so virtualization is our way of making the, uh, you know, of being able to deploy these things very fast. So, you know, once you have the data through different, uh, you know, connectors from, and, you know, from your, from your different data sources, you need a piece where you are able to harmonize, you are able to govern, you are able to, you know, uh, look into this data and your data has to be in one piece, right? So this is where data virtualization, you know, comes into play. Things, think of data virtualization as a logical data warehouse, right? It's not physical. We don't move any data from your sources, right? Um, your data is at rest wherever you are, but we create a logical data warehouse on top of it. And this is, again, through completely drag and drop interface UI. That's our, you know, philosophy of going about uh, application development. And uh, you know, uh, through this AI, uh, through this UI, you are able to manage, govern, and do self-service uh, data engineering. And this allows you to expose data to different modules, platforms as and when required. Um, so you know, I also spoke about uh, simulation, right? So I also quickly spoke about you know, you will be able to do things like demand forecasting, what if forecasting, uh, if the scenarios change, you know, what would happen if a primary supplier in your region goes down, and things like that. Or if you know there is a there is a new rule of uh, let's say um, I, I know there's a there's an extended lockdown of the, or or any other regulations and law changes right so to do that we have you know simulation models also or simulation capabilities that are also built in right so you can take into all of these uh, you know uh, all of these conditions right change of weather change of uh, rules and regulations and if, if you can automatically simulate identify what bottlenecks will come if this particular you know situation happens and then you can automatically Playback, fast forward, and uh, you know, see how to take proactive actions, uh, you know, from this platform, so that you know you are able to mitigate it, and such scenarios do not arise. Um, so, you, so I said, you know, there are multiple use cases that you can do. These are some of the just use cases, sample use cases I have uh, listed. Notice that you know I have listed use cases in two set, two heads: historical and command control center type. So we can do in the same platform both kind of use cases. If whether you have a requirement of historical use cases, right? Um, historical use cases mean you are doing with historical data or with real time data. We can do it in the same platform, in the same dashboard, in the same UI, right? Uh, you will not need to go or get any other platform or tool for this. So, um, uh, so things like you know, uh, three sixty degree tra tracking of uh, of, of uh, you know your IDs, right? Your hub to hub tracking, your best of all those kind of use cases, or best of worst performing vendors in uh, you know, or capacity utilization. All of these things or use cases, you know, or the platform is basically able to do in real time and that too out of box. Next up, I'm just going to show you some dashboards and a small two, three minutes demo, right? Not more than that. And then we'll go strictly straightly to questions. So this is a sample dashboard that you see, right? So in one single holistic dashboard, you can see things like booking, any kind of late booking, you know, this is from a logistics perspective, but this same dashboard or same solution rather could be implemented in other scenarios like manufacturing or retail or other, other use cases I just spoke about. So uh, you know things like uh, any deviations, any any KPIs that you need to monitor, any bar charts, any 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 visualizations that you need to do, all of them are available out of box. To create these things, you do not need to write any bit of code. Everything is you know available as charting elements out of box. 
Next up is this, and this is the real time piece I've, I've kept saying about, right? So, uh, so look into this KPI, right? It keeps changing in real time. And this is coming in from a real time GPS device that, uh, you know, from a, from a particular fleet of truck, uh, which is tracking a, a, a trip, right? So as and when this gets updated, you are, you are getting the, you know, uh, updated information. At the same time, things like average time, your time taken by 25% of the fleet uh, or worse 25% of the fleet and things like that are coming in from historical data, right? So in one single visualization dashboarding element, you know, you are able to combine, mix, match and do, uh, you know, see both kind of views. And this is a simple example of how, you know, things, uh, you know, TIPCO basically enables you to uh, digitalize your operations and give you one singular view of, you know, all real-time activities as well as all historical activities that are happening with respect to your supply chain all at once, right? So I'm going to just quickly show you one single demo. It will not be one or two, more than one or two minutes. And then we'll quickly and straightly go to the questions. So Gaurav, do you have any uh, observations at this point? Well, I just show these, uh, you know, change and show to the uh, show the demo screen. Well, first of all, thank you so much for sharing such wonderful insights. Uh, to be very candid, my initial reaction was like, I'm surprised this sounds too good to be true. I mean, I can only imagine the scenarios if we can get real feed in real time and how we can leverage it to uh, intimate the customers, uh, basically making supply chain more transparent. So yeah, would love to know more. Sure, sure. So let me quickly share my screen. And one minute. Yes. So what you see here, right? is the same screen that I showed you in the, as a screenshot, but you see in a, it in live in a demo format, right? See, these kind of, this is a simple dashboard. You can do multiple other dashboards like this, right? You are seeing, you know, uh, things like total distance covered, total, you know, uh, trip maintained and everything, right? That is coming in from your uh, live data, from your sensors, from your GPS devices on the fleet. Uh, at the same time, I explained to you that the time, things like this, time taken by 25% best fleet or worst fleet are being calculated in real time and showed to you. And average and max time is coming, is something, you know, historical. So in one single dashboard, you are able to see, you know, all of the historical and real time insights in, in, in one go. Adding to it, you know, look at look into this particular uh, you know, screen, right? You see a bunch of trips that are being taken. Every trip is basically, you know, indicated by, uh, you know, uh, by, by a star. And uh, let me just explain to you uh, how AI ML is basically coming into play, right? So you see a trip being taken from Kolkata to somewhere in Katak over here, right? And uh, the best part about is uh, about this is basically, you know, the red and the green, green stars, as you see, are the driver profiles in real time. Uh, what, what I mean is, uh, you know, uh, the AI ML is, you know, automatically able to calculate looking at the driver deacceleration acceleration at every second right it is able to capture things like uh, from uh, you know uh, has the driver taken a break, uh, has the driver accelerated has he deaccelerated is the variance between his acceleration and deacceleration too much and uh, if that is the case you know you get you are getting a red, a red it's being you know denoted as a red star at that particular point in time so like that you can create a driver profile and it, it makes very sense when you get out of kolkata region right this is a big you know metropolitan city in india right you will you are bound to expect more traffic more you know movement and everything and that is why you see uh, you know this being denoted as uh, red but as you go ahead, and this is the this is the national highways that in India, right? And you see not more more and more blue stars, and the intermittent red stars that you see are small cities or small towns coming in between. So again, they are they are getting notified by the uh, driver profile, driver driving behavior profile. So this driving behavior profile is something that is not you know that is not being collected from uh, the GPS device. That is automatically being calculated through this accelerator through its AI ML algorithm and other pieces and that you can see. So now going ahead, you can compare most drivers, you can compare drivers of different fleets, you can see you know, how they're performing. This is just one use case, right? On driver uh, performance, behavior performance, you can, you can apply this to many other use cases, like I just said, be it real-time delivery, be it creating geofences, or uh, you know, be it creating any other use cases uh, you know, that you might have. So I'm going to stop my share and quickly you know, reshare my 
uh, screen, Gaurav, over to you at this point, and uh, audience will take in any questions or any other uh, you know uh, thing uh, you know quer queries that you might have. Let me just quickly share my screen uh, from the deck. So, so yeah, got it. Yeah, so that be good for the questions. I think everyone is waiting. I am getting yes, a yes, lot of yeah. questions in the box, yes, and yes, it, yeah. it it looks like I am not the only one who's imagining scenarios here. So I have got some good set of questions from the audience. Uh, so as promised to the viewers, uh, if we'll try to cover as much as we can, but again, if you left out or if you still feel your question is not answered, uh, we'll share the recordings with you with the link to get back to us, and we'll do as much as we can. So uh, coming back to the question to the shield, there's one quick question from Varun and he's like, uh, how can AI and ML benefit the last mile delivery? Okay. So I think we have spoken in your, I think so we have spoken in depth on the long haul, but could you share your thoughts specific to the last mile? Sure. Yeah. Sure. That's a great question. Uh, exactly. Right. That how can we enable in last mile delivery <clears throat> while we spoke about creating things like driving behavior profiles, right? or uh, you know uh, matching uh, or seeing you know what kind of driving a particular person is doing on a particular route and then mixing and matching with other routes in last mile delivery we can do you know multiple other things we can do things like uh, geofencing we can set, we can automatically send alerts to people or to end customers when you know a particular vehicle is at a particular you know particular distance from your uh, delivery point uh, add on to it we can make the entire experience very interactive which means that you know uh, when, when a, even when the when a parcel or a package is in transit right we can take requests from customers through the uh, uh, through apps and that is where the ola or uber like uh, video, uh, experience comes in uh, so things like you know uh, uh, read out the package things like you know uh, let's say you know uh, put it with someone else all those could be serviced in real time now don't confuse this uh, with something that this is not available today this is pretty much available today right uh, you can still go ahead and and probably request these things but this can, this could only be serviced before the last mile delivery has started right in most cases in most cases when your consignment or when your product is still at some kind of hub and you can probably still make these requests and that also depends on what hub it is if it is at last hub or it is if it has already out for delivery or things like that those requests in most cases will not be serviced that is not the thing with this case which whichever you know uh, you know uh, stage of delivery your consignment or package is in we can you know through our you know real time interface we can interact we can take requests and we can service them okay uh, so, Sushil, we have one technical question here from Akshay. Uh, so, he's asking, does Tipco offer the model governance or the model management tool right out of the box? Yes, Akshay. Yes, 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 Sushil. So, I think I just spoke. I, I, I know that I just, uh, you know, spoke a bit about it. But yes, as we did discuss that this model governance or model management is the crux of any AI ML in a platform. And uh, we do provide all of this out of box. When I say out of box, things like uh, thrift, uh, you know, model, model thrift, model performance calculations, hot deploying a model or taking a model out of production for retuning or fine tuning it, right? Or, uh, you know, doing versioning, audit tra uh, tracking and tracing, all of this, uh, you know, is uh, you know, provided out of box. We have GUI driven interfaces uh, in our model management module that can do, you know, these functions. Okay, uh, so one more question from Sapna, and this is also I've heard from a lot of my prospects. So basically, she's asking how easy it is for business users to access the information. Uh, we do have a similar tool in place, but it requires a developer to generate insight. Yeah, yeah. that is a very good question, actually. Um, um, you know, God of. So um, that is true. In most cases, you, you would find, you know, as I said, there are tools and applications, obviously, you know, taking care of different aspects, maybe warehousing, maybe inventory, maybe demand forecasting, but most of them will require some kind of a specialist, IT specialist to, you know, uh, work with them and get insights out of it. As you see, and as I just explained, the entire development and uh, communication or, or interaction process in typical platform is, you know, GUI driven. What it means that uh, you know, even during the development stage, right? Uh, um, uh, you know, uh, we we provide uh, a GUI-based development interface that basically fastens the development process. Uh, 
from a developer's point of view. And when it is deployed and ready to use, basically, the end user, the business user, will not will you know interact or uh, will speak uh, will get information through interactive dashboards like the one that you see in the screen below. Uh, in the screen, right? You you will not need to write any piece of code, any SQL or uh, any any kind of view creation things like that. Whatever you need, you can either uh, you know uh, just uh, do the function through you know selections through button pushes things like that or you can in certain cases you can also ask natural uh, you know queries in plain english queries right? and those will be shown to you for example you can go ahead and ask you know what is the vehicle that is most delayed uh, in plain and simple english and uh, you'll see all those details right in front of your screen sure so i'll take the next one from tamir tamaha and he's asking about the team collaboration, how this tool can be leveraged to enhance the team collaboration between different departments. That is an excellent question, actually. So um, I'll, I'll speak of collaboration from, from you know, two, three perspectives. First thing is obviously through the data science and visualization perspective. So, uh, you know, multiple teams, uh, obviously in an organization are involved in such kind of an effort and the tools that we provide are very collaborative. So when I say very collaborative, no, you can, you can, and create multiple workflows in uh, you know, uh, within a team environment. You can monitor progresses of different teams. You can see the milestones that you have given and what has been achieved, and what kind of models you have developed as a team. And uh, you know you can take actions on it all through the same Tipco platform. You do not need to have any other collaboration platform for that. That is just one piece of it. Now, coming back to the overall interactivity and overall usage experience in a collaboration manner, the platform that we provide right again is very intuitive and very collaborative right so when i say collaborative the uh, you know different personas in your team in different uh, across different teams can access uh, this uh, you know, platform uh, based upon their roles and their you know uh, uh, you know policies that have been allocated for them and they'll they'll uh, they, they will seamlessly be able to track trace do their particular piece of role within the platform and will be able to do communications uh, with other team members in the platform through a Slack like uh, or a, through a chat like interface. So all of those things, like let's say, you know, you I am a developer or I'm an analyst and I see a interesting trend. Let's say the same trend that you see on the screen, right? There's a there's, there are red marks and there are blue marks. And I just highlight it saying, hey, this is an interesting trend. And if you are the second, you are my manager and you're looking into it and you have to take a de decision based on it, you can simply open it. You can see my comment. You can probably, you know, uh, reshare it with your colleagues. Uh, in, in through a HTML dashboard, through a link, through whatever format you want for you know further discussion, or you can come into me back all in the same platform. So that's very collaborative actually. Uh, very good to know. Uh, so Sudarshil, I know we are uh, getting a little bit out of the time, but this is one very important question, and I have this in my mind as well. Uh, so this one is from Muhammad Abdul Aziz. And he's asking a very simple, straightforward question. How does the platform connect with other billion of applications out there? That's a very good question. And as I just said, right? So the crux of this platform working is the data. And uh, so for that, we provide uh, data connectors out of box with this platform. So what I mean is any kind of data sources that your existing ecosystem has in your organization, be it RDBMS sources, be it big data sources, be it cloud-based sources, be it applications like you know SAP or JD Edwards or SAND packages, Honeywell, whatever it is, right? Uh, you know, we have seamless uh, connect out of box connectors. You will just need to configure them, and you are good to go to take data. That is not that is not the only piece. But once the data is also there, we provide you know uh, seamless uh, mechanisms of managing, governing, and exposing that data through our data virtualization platform, which is also part of this uh, you know uh, tool. Sure. Uh, so I think I think so. The shield uh, that it for now so viewers i think i have still have left some questions to answer but again like i mentioned we'll share the recording link with everyone and with the with of course a link to get back to us and we'll would love to answer so thank you so much dashil thank, uh, you. thank you so much for this wonderful session sharing all this knowledge with us and thank you viewers for taking the time out i hope we'll meet again so i think that's it for today thank you so much everyone until we meet again